Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup, eyeshadow and everything using black owned products. And this is going to be in honor of Black History Month. I know it's literally the end of Black History Month now, but it's never too late to celebrate. So yeah, I'm going to just show some brands that are black owned in makeup and use my makeup to do them. So for my eyebrows, I already did. I always start off pretty much with my eyebrows done. I use this um, crayon case eyebrow pomade. It's blurry. Crayon case eyebrow pomade. And I love this pomade. This is in the color medium brown. I thought it was going to be too light, but it's actually like just right. And it matches my hair well. Well, I like this one because it's like a creamy um, consistency. Like I had the e.l.f. lock on liner, but I like use this one the crayon case one way more because this one i just like how creamy it is like it glides on you don't have to really try too hard for it so i'm gonna be doing kind of a softer look um today i'm still trying to figure out if i'm gonna use lashes or not just because of the fact that i don't have any lashes from um from a black owned business i had a lot some lot one pair of lashes that was a collaboration between uh um a white company I guess well a collaboration between Isler and but it was with Jasmine Brown who is a black creator so I was going to use those but literally this morning I lost one of the lashes so the lashes are probably going to be the one thing in this video that aren't black owned so I felt like this is a great opportunity to use my Juvia's Place Nubian Coral Nubian 3 Coral Palette and I'm gonna do kind of a soft glam look if everything goes how I want. So we're gonna start off in my crease. So I'm gonna use this, hold on. I'm gonna use this dark brown color right here for my crease. Then I'm gonna use this brush and go above that with the lighter color that's literally two colors over from this color. I'm gonna do one eye at a time just because I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna be doing yet. Pretty sure this is my first time using this palette, but I like it. Okay, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use a, the Fenty Beauty Concealer. Yeah, hold on. The Fenty Beauty Instant Retouch Concealer in the color 400 to kind of like do how I would do if I was doing a cut crease, just so I can have that canvas to kind of make the glitter that I'm going to use pop. I don't know if I'm using a glitter, but I think it will. I'm only gonna do like a half cut thing, like um, just cut it halfway. And I'm gonna use a, where is it? A concealer brush to just um, flatten that out so that is smooth. So now I'm gonna grab a flat eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna use this color because I think that one's pretty and put that right there okay so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back with this brush and where this is going out I'm just gonna use this to kind of like blend that out some I might go dip back into that color and just do like that One thing I also do sometimes is with that color, after I cut the crease, I kind of just go back above that just to add definition to the color that I had there originally. And then I'm going to go back with this brush and get some more of the color I used with this one originally and use that at the very end and just kind of use it to, um, I don't know, blend the other colors well. So I got a new eyeliner 
and it's the black radiance eyeliner i actually really like this it's the black radiance eyeliner this is a um the black radiance eyeliner and it's a felt tip and that's what i'm going to be using to do my liner there's two different sides so let me see so i'm going to use this side to um the one that looks like this just to draw the line here one black radiance product that i don't have because i ran out of it that's really good is the true complexion um color correct i used it as a concealer when i had it but that's amazing And I think I'm going to do a wing. In my head the whole time, I was like, don't do a wing because you're going to end up messing it up and you like it. But we're going to see what I do. I want to try to use do a wing just because they have on the other side of it, there's this. And I like the way that's shaped. It looks like it makes it so much easier to do a wing. So let's see. Oh, yeah. That draws the line so straight. So I'm just going to do like that and draw the outline and then fill it in. Now the marker's a little bit thick, so what I'm just going to do is go back in with that um, same concealer I used to cut the crease. And I'm just going to um, clean that up. One thing I do say is like sometimes when you use concealer, it kind of pushes it out like that, but I think it kind of helps to make a thinner line. So just kind of get rid of some of it and it's kind of like, just like that. Let me fix this one just a little bit. And now I'm gonna put on a time lapse and just go ahead and do this other eye. So I ended up not doing the time lapse, but this is how the finished eye look, look the finished eye makeup looks. I just went ahead and did this eye and then I added lashes. Um, I really got upset because literally after I added these lashes, I found, it, found the lashes that were like with the creator that I wanted to use, but it's okay. It's okay, I'm gonna just keep going. Um, I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty um, Instant retouch primer, the growth filter primer. And I'm just gonna prime my face. I put entirely too much. So the foundation that I'm gonna be using is my favorite, the Fancy Beauty um matte soft matte long wear foundation, and this is in the shade 420. And I'm just gonna put like two pumps on my hand, just like this. And use my beauty blender to just apply that up there. I was gonna use my um brush, but um I used that this morning. I used most of my brushes this morning to do my makeup for class. So I didn't have it, but I actually kind of like the way that it looks with the beauty blender lately. I've been using a beauty blender a lot. I like I don't know. I like the way it looks better when you Put the beauty, the foundation on your hand and then apply it. The only thing about the beauty blender is that it absorbs so much product. So like with the brush, you might only need one or two pumps, but with the beauty blender, because the sponge is absorbing it, you might have to use a little more, but that's fine. Um, I'm just gonna do one pump by each side then. That would probably have been smarter. I'm just gonna kind of dab that over. I love how it just blends so seamlessly. Okay, and then that concealer that I used to cut my half crease, I'm gonna go ahead and use that to conceal. Um, under my eyes, I'm gonna put some on my nose bridge, my forehead, and right here. Usually, I mean, I like this concealer a lot, especially for if I'm using a like no makeup makeup look and I don't have on any foundation, it blends into my skin. But the only thing I say is that I should have got a lighter color because with 
under your eye highlight what a lot of people like to do including me is um make it lighter underneath your eyes but look, that's one dip and it has enough so far to do all of this i really only put a little bit here so look that one dip got me enough to do all the areas i wanted to do let me grab my setting powder so i can go ahead and get ready to set that and another thing that I like about this concealer is that it doesn't like dry up too fast. So it blends out well because my light cut off. My light got too hot, so it's going to be kind of like a medium light setting. But basically what I'm saying is that I like that with this concealer, it doesn't, oh, I got rid of my liner on accident. It doesn't blend out too well. I mean, it blends out amazingly because it doesn't dry up under your eye before you blend it. Like, I love the e.l.f. camo concealer, but it just dries entirely too fast. Uh, I'm going to redo the liner. That's okay for right now. Blend. Another reason why I would choose a different color for this concealer for me is because it has really... I don't know, it's kind of orange, but it doesn't look bad, especially once I add my contour. It's kind of closer, definitely closer to my foundation color. Like you can tell, I guess, the difference, but it pretty much blends with the foundation. That's literally because the colors are so close in the line. But if you're looking for a concealer that um have that's close to your skin tone, then definitely. Fenty Beauty has a huge range and pretty much all their products. So now I'm going to be using my, this is the Black Radiance Loose Setting Powder, the True Complexion Loose Setting Powder. And I'm going to be using that to set the concealer. I put entirely too much right here. You see that? You know, I took too much off. See, and it kind of just mattifies it way better. I love this powder. This is like, so I, when I first used powder, I got a, um, what's it called? A translucent powder. And that's kind of too white for me. So this one has color in it. And it doesn't make you have a like flashback. That's what I love about this one. And like literally the words true complexion really matches well because um what am I saying? The words true complexion matches as well because it literally just blends into your complexion or foundation complexion, whatever, whatever you have on your face, it blends into it. Like you can't really tell, like you don't see powder. If I was to use that translucent powder that I have, you're gonna know I have powder on my face. And there's another powder. Everybody talks about the Maybelline powder and they love the Maybelline powder. And that's like, if they like that, then that's good for them. But for me, I feel like the Maybelline powder is too powdery, if that makes any sense. Like, I know it's supposed to be a powder, but at the same time, like if you spray it, your face is going to look like literally if you put powder, like imagine you have cocoa powder. I'm using that because of this trend where you get the cocoa powder and you put the water on it and it literally just sits on top of it. That's literally what the other one does. So this is my favorite, my everyday go-to powder. So now I'm going to contour and I'm kind of, okay. So what I'm gonna do is contour my nose, but for my, um like outer parts of my face. Oh, actually, let me do this first. What I wanted to do was get that brown color that I use in the Juvia's Place palette, the color that's closest to the glitter, and put that like on my lower lash line. It's not the right brush to use, but it's fine. I don't know if you can really tell the difference, but for me, I can. I like how it kind of just, it brings more attention to your eyes.
Okay, so now, back to what I was saying, I'm gonna use this to do nose contour. This is the Espresso Shade Stick from Fenty Beauty. I talk about this a lot. If this isn't, if you watch my channel, this is what I use for contour like all the time. I'm gonna use that eyeshadow brush to blend that out. I'm gonna use this one. I don't know why this one part of my nose is always so hard to blend compared to everything else. Like, I don't know if it's just darker in general or like, I don't understand. And now I'm gonna, for my contour on my face, I was trying to figure out which to use. I have the Fenty Beauty bronzer, but I feel like it's not dark enough for what I want. Like it, I don't know, it shows kind of, but it's not exactly what I want right now. So I'm gonna use the, the Black Radiance. I was looking for it. The Black Radiance Dark to Deep Contour Palette, the True Complexion Contour Palette. I'm gonna use this ankle brush to contour my face. So you can see, this is a good color for me. I used the Sculpt color in this palette. I thought this palette was gonna be like, the contour color would be my contour color, but when I opened it, I said, oh no, the contour color is too dark for me. Okay, and I'm going to, oh, for highlight, yes. This is one of my new favorite products. This is the Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm in the color How Many Carrots. This is like, it looks like a, just a regular powder, but literally just one tap will put enough. Like, look, one tap. My nose, I don't know if you can tell, but it already makes my nose shiny. And then put that up there. And I don't know if this is supposed to be used as highlight or more of like a body highlight or what, but I like it. This is so pretty to me. I saw it on a lot of people's videos and I was like, I need that. The only thing I will say about this is that it puts a lot of product. So like, you really have to be careful with your application, which I'm obviously not doing it, unless you don't care about having like glare, shine and stuff all over your face, but it spreads. Oh man, I had a blush I wanted to use, but it's okay. I'm not gonna use it. A good blush though is the Black Radiance blush. Um, I think it's called like Artisan Baked. They have amazing blushes. There's one in the color Toasted Almond that I use and that's so pretty to me. And to finish my look, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my own lips. So I'm gonna line my lips using the Shade Stick and, exp and Espresso. Yeah, and I'm gonna use a lip liner or something to line my lips. Let's see, whatever I find first. This is supposed to be a concealer brush, but I think, yeah, a detailer brush. I'm gonna use that to line my lips. This is the Fenty Beauty Madame, I think it's Matte Moselle is how she says it. Plush um, lipstick in the color single, and I'm just gonna apply that in the middle. See how it looks. Oh. Is that like a nude color? That's what I like about it. Hold on. Put this in here. Um, let me go back around my lip. Actually, what I'm gonna do is use the color PMS. I tried to do this in a video before. But I'm gonna use that to line my lip instead of the um, shade stick. So I'm gonna still use this brush, but use this color because it's darker. Okay, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys like this. This came out really cute. I didn't know what I was going to do at first. So make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And to comment down anything below that you guys would like to see in a future video. And just keep watching. Bye. Bye.